So following on from Mojito is the Bigger Brother synth Mata. This guy is a polyphonic analog modeling synth. It's got some great features that allow you to create some really interesting sounds. So let's take a look around the interface and see what can be done. On the left here, there's two oscillators and you can bypass them by simply just clicking on oscillator name. And there's also a sub noise oscillator. Let me start off making a sound with the first oscillator. And this is set to a simple sawtooth waveform. But there is a selection of other waveforms to choose from. There's a sine, a triangle waveform, the saw, and a square waveform. And with the square, I can also choose to dial in a pulse width modulation. The stereo spread can also be increased. Plus, I can introduce some more low registers into the sound with this subparameter. The octave range can be set for the oscillator. So I can either go down or up two octaves. Here I can change the tuning by semitones or by a fine value and then there's the level meter plus the pan knob. And then I can choose to add a second oscillator maybe with a different waveform option. The two oscillators can be synced together but I quite like this disabled. And what I really like is to increase the fine parameter to add some variation in the pitch between the two oscillators. It just spreads out the sound a bit more. Add some sub. And how about enabling the noise generator? This color knob will change the type of noise that's generated and then crank the level to hear that noise more. And then these oscillators are passed through this character section here. And this just applies some tonal shaping to the sound. There's some different tonal sounds over here that you can choose from. Each one giving its own character, so it's a really good name to use. So try some of these out, but I'm going to leave it set to grand class. After the character shaping, it's passed through this cutoff frequency filter over here. So the cutoff frequency is set with a style over here. I can also increase the resonance of the cutoff. I can drive the overtones and harmonics on the sound and add some more punch. And like with the Mojito, I've got velocity and key dials. So with the velocity, if I hit different velocity amounts, it's going to open up this filter. And I can scale the key of the filter if I want. Up here, there's some different filter shape curves that can be chosen. These can quite drastically change how the sound is being filtered. Down here, there's also two LFOs that can be assigned to parameters but I'm gonna quickly skip over this because this is gonna be connected with the modulation matrix that's down over here. So first I'm gonna to jump to the right and go over the envelopes over here. So there's an amp envelope where I can set the ADSR settings. Maybe I want a shorter release on the sound. Or maybe dropping the sustain level. Just shaping the sound a bit more. Then after this, there are two assignable envelopes. So I can set different shapes for each one. So let's take a look at how these envelopes work in conjunction with the modulation matrix. So as I pointed out earlier, this is the modulation matrix down here. So first up, it has envelope 2 modulating the filter cutoff frequency. So take a listen to this. I've got the cutoff frequency. And now if I increase the attack on envelope 2, it opens up that filter a bit slower. And I can choose different sources to modulate with this drop down menu over here. And then for the destination, there's also multiple options that I can choose from. And with the slider over here, I can choose the amount that's applied for this section in the modulation matrix. Cool. So now let's check how these LFOs work with the modulation matrix. So I've got a choice of two LFOs. Let's work with LFO one. I'm gonna increase the rate. I don't quite hear anything yet, and that's because I need to set it in the modulation matrix. 
So I'm going to jump down here to the second box. For the source, I'm going to choose LFO1. And the destination is going to be the filter cutoff. So as I adjust the rate knob, you can hear this LFO in action. And this rate is just freely assigned, and I can also sync it to the tempo of the project. Let's just increase that cutoff. And tweak it some more. Gives you that classic dubstep wobble sound. I'm just going to remove those settings for now. But that's how you can use the LFOs and envelopes in conjunction with the modulation matrix to really tailor your sound. And the sound can also be passed through two effect sections. There's FXA and FXB. So with FXA, I've got some modulation effects here, such as chorus, flanger, and phaser. So let's use the chorus effect and increase its depth. Maybe try some flanger. Increase the speed. Or maybe use some phaser. Cool. Then there's also some delay options, and this has already been enabled and using a pan delay. But there's some different options over here. And finally, FXA goes through this reverb section. Increase the mix to hear that reverb being applied. And to finish everything off, there's some global settings here on the right. So I can set the global volume and velocity amounts, plus I can set the glide mode over here. So to enable the glide, I first need to click on mono, set the glide amount, and why is that not working? Ah, because I need to enable glide as well. So just click on both of those. So they'll just glide from one note into the next as you play them. So that's a rundown on Mata and the interface and how to get around with it, but also explore some of the presets. There's really some killer sounds in here. For example, check out some of these lead sounds. Some really sick stuff there. Next up, let's check out the presence sampler.